the evil genius from Winter Laboratory with your Lab Secrets dashboard tutorial video. In this short video, I'm going to run you through our new Lab Secrets dashboard and introduce you to some of the features. Now, once you've installed the Lab Secrets dashboard into your WordPress site, or we've done it for you if you've taken one of our hosted plans, the first page that you'll always come to will be the Lab Store homepage. Here you'll find what's new. Sometimes we'll have tips and tricks and tutorials, and other times we'll be giving you a product release or maybe a hint as to some things to come. Either way, it's a great place to catch a quick update on what's new from the lab. Now, the next thing you'll notice is that we have a couple of main category headings here. We have my plugins, my themes, upgrades, and of course, need help. Now, when you're inside of each of the particular category headings, you'll also have sometimes a submenu. In this case, we'll start with the Lab Store. You'll notice once we're in the Lab Store homepage, we can also click then to the next tab heading, which is Plugins. Plugins is where you'll find the particular plugins that you have available to purchase from the Lab Store. I've got a couple plugins that we've not purchased yet. Whenever you see a plugin here and it has the Get It tag, that means that you could go ahead and click on it and you can purchase it for the price shown. You'll notice when you roll your mouse over, it also gives you a little bit of a detail as to what's involved in the plugin and its features. Now, if I do click through, this is paid automatically through PayPal via a screen that will show up right there inside of your dashboard. And if you wish to continue, it'll take you through to PayPal and you can complete the transaction and then you'll be taken back to your dashboard. The next tab I've got over here is called themes. This is where you have any themes that might be available to you. In this case, since we've already installed all available themes, I've got a warning that says, congratulations, you've already installed all available themes. Next, we have skins. Now with the Lab Secret Solution, we have skins that will be available to you to install, either for free or for $19.99. It's a super convenient way to change the look and the feel of your site and never change the function or the underlying structure. Just pick a skin, swap it in, and you're good to go. Lastly, we have partners. These plugins will be available for sale directly through the Lab Secrets dashboard, but they'll offer the same functionality that you would normally get from the respective developing partners. What's best about this is that we'll be bundling these with other packages to provide you a price advantageous position, as well as to give you some additional function when we have one of our special already set up bundles. Now let's go to the next tab. We've got my plugins. My plugins is where you'll go once you've installed one of the plugins from the lab store. If you've got it installed and activated, you'll have the green light. If you want to deactivate it, you just simply click on that and it's offline. Now, one of the things I'd like to show you real quickly here is that some of the plugins actually have additional functionality that you will access just by clicking on them. So for example, with the foot doctor, once I've activated it, I simply double click and once I do, it'll take me to another screen where I can see the details of the plugin and access the features. In this case, I haven't set this up yet, but I can go ahead and start using the product from right within the lab dashboard. It's a super convenient way that you'll never have to leave the lab secrets dashboard in order to manage and maintain the functions and the plugins. Let's go back to my plugins and continue the tour. Once over here, we can see that I've got some other tools and sometimes the parameters are simply a matter of putting in a hider width. So here, for example, with lab videos, I can adjust the video player width simply by putting in a figure here. Maybe I want to make that 590 pixels and clicking on save settings. When I do, that will be changed throughout the entire site. Okay, continuing on, once we're in the My Themes area, we can see any of the themes that we've previously installed. Here we do have the Lab 2010, which is our skeleton theme. When I roll over, I can get the details about this particular theme, and I also see that, of course, it's active. If I wanted to do so, I can build custom themes that contain individual PHP files and other structural files that are unique to the theme. Likewise, if I want to, I can install a skin. If you remember, in the Lab Store, you can purchase any kind of skin or install some for free. If you have installed some particular skins, the way you'll access them is to go to your My Themes tab, roll over the particular theme that you have installed, and double click on it. Just like with our plugins, when you do that, it will show you which skins are installed. In this case, I've got the Lab Gray skin installed. If I wanted to deactivate it and revert to our basic theme style, I just simply click on the Active tab, and that will change to Inactive. It's that simple. Let me put it back on and let's move on with the tour. Next, I've got upgrades. This is a tab that you'll want to check occasionally because this is where we'll push to you all of the upgrades to our software. You'll notice that whenever I have a yellow tab, that means an upgrade's available. Let me show you how easy it is to actually install the upgrade. Simply click and then it's installed. It's that simple. When I go back, I can repeat the process 
for the other plugins. Okay, now we're all done, and when we are, the upgrades will show you a dialog that says all plugins are up to date. It's really simple. Last but not least, if you're ever stuck or you're a beginner and you want a little help, click on the Need Help button. This is where we'll have a link as well as further information on how to get started with the Lab Secret Solution, how to get some frequently asked questions, how to get some information from the community of Lab Secrets customers, and lastly and most importantly, how to keep updated by following our blog. These will simply link out to those particular resources, but it's a handy way for you to get unstuck in the event you find yourself asking some questions. Lastly, we'll always have our introductory videos that you can watch to get you started, especially if you're a new beginner with the Lab Secret Solution. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the Lab Secrets dashboard, and if you have any questions at all, you can always reach us at labsecrets.com.